Hi there, it's Monday again in Western Australia and uh, good to talk to you wherever you are in the world. I want to share a couple of things with you today about how we actually uh, adapt and adjust to grief in our lives. And you know, you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, it's just time, time heals all wounds or, you know, um, I'll get over it in time. And whilst the pain of grief certainly eases off in time, it's actually what you do in that time that actually helps you and will help you to um, adjust to your loss much more easily. So today I want to share with you three grief tools that I really think uh, will help anyone who's grieving and they've certainly helped me. And the very first of those is journaling and I know a lot of you don't write. Um, I've got heaps of journals, in fact I'm actually going to write an article on it. But um, you can use them for writing your feelings, just expressing how you feel. You can use them to connect to your loved ones and actually write to them every day or every month or whenever you feel like it. Um, you can use them to actually keep snippets of information, quotes that you really like, something that's really touched you, um, that you may have seen on Facebook or in the paper, and and just keep those there as a reminder. You can, If you don't feel like writing, you can just get one of those art books, A4 art books, and... Um, just put in pictures that you like that that you've seen in magazines and just underneath maybe say why you like it, why is this applicable to you in your grief. So even though it's journaling, it doesn't actually have to be about writing, but it, it's a way of getting those sort of feelings about how you are grieving and, and what you're experiencing out on paper. The other thing is to have an unquenchable belief in yourself that you can do this. And so all you need to do is get a piece of coloured paper, just write on it, I can do this, and you put it on your bedside table or you're on your fridge, and two or three times a day you look at that and you say that to yourself, and you never, ever, ever give up. You can do this. I believe in you. I know you can. And the other thing that is really important, the third grief tool, is you must find ways to connect with your loved one. It's absolutely critical because even though they're physically gone, they're, you still have a relationship with them, you still love them, that never goes away in death. So they come with you, I believe they're with you in, in memories, in what we do, and in spirit as well. But I keep that relationship strong by having uh, triggers, if you like, or ways to connect with my son. So I've mentioned to you before, I have, these, I have a locket and I have a, a pendant with his ashes in it. I have photos everywhere, I write to him, um, I have his pictures framed of art that he's drawn. I know that maybe for some of you, you don't have any mementos, and particularly if you've lost a, a loved baby, and maybe there wasn't an opportunity for you to capture some memory. So what I'd suggest that maybe you can do in that case is just get a postcard-sized piece of beautiful um, paper or card, and actually just think about your baby or think about the person that you've lost and think about some colours that come to mind when you think about them. And actually just colour that in across the paper in any shapes that you want. So as you're thinking of them, just whatever comes to mind, put it on the paper. And then when you finish and the whole A4 piece is covered with colour, write their beautiful name across it or a message for them. And that's your way of connecting with them. And you can frame it or just have it in a, a journal or have it by your side. So there are other ways that you can do it. So I hope that those have helped and I hope that you'll take some of those ideas on board and use them in your, in your grief to help you get through this horrible time. Okay, I'll speak to you again next week. Bye for now.